Hey guys, welcome back to SolidWorks and NCS Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create a different number of planes in SolidWorks and how we can create planes on any angles or on vertex or faces. So we can create a lot of complex sketches uh, for our detailed features. So let's start. So these are the basic uh, three main planes. Uh, when you will open the SolidWorks, these three main planes will be there, like front plane, top plane, and right plane. If they are hidden, you can just uh, select Control and select all these planes and just click Show here, and you can see these planes. So we will see how we can create a lot of different planes using this our default planes. So first of all, I am going to make some geometry, like I will select top plane here, we'll make an extrusion like this, okay. So this is just the basic geometry, so on which we are going to work. So first of all, uh, let me tell you that we can create planes from the edge, from the face and from the vertex. Okay, so first of all, we are going to see that how we can create a different number of planes that if I am going to make the right plane, I want to make the plane here with some distance, how we can do it. Just go to the reference geometry and here we have the option of plane and axis. So we are going to work on the plane, select plane from here and these are three references which are used to make the planes. So first of all, we are selecting this reference plane. And you will see that it will automatically made a new plane at some distance. So if you want to change your distance, like you use the loft command with number of different sketches on different planes, so you can use this feature. Also, uh, like if I am going to give it 50 mm, the distance will be changed. Okay, so here we have number of planes to create. So if I want to make three planes with same equal distance of 50 mm, I will just change the number of planes from here also i can change the distance from here so this is how we can create a uh, duplicate planes uh, from our current plane also we can make this type of plane from the faces uh, like i will select this face from here and you can see the uh, the plane is made parallel to this face and we have given the distance here and number of instances so this was the first feature that how we can make a plane from our current plane or face okay so the next one is how we can create a plane at some angle like i want to make a plane at this angle at 45 degree of this edge so what i will do is first of all i will select the top plane here in the second reference i will tell him that please make the plane at angle of this edge so i will select this edge now you can see here that it is made coincident to this edge i will select angle from here and i can give any angle to this edge or plane so by this we can make a simple plane at some angle so this is how the plane at angle works okay the third point is how we can make a plane on any vertex or perpendicular this edge like we use the sweep pass boss base command on that we have to make a sketch at some uh, like perpendicular to the sketch so i will select this edge here and for the second reference i will select the vertex so that it can be coincident on it so the plane is coincident on this vertex and is perpendicular to this edge so this was the third option of how we can create a plane with the edge and the vertex okay so the fourth one is that if i want to make a, a plane with only the points so what i will do is i will go to the 3d sketch i will make a points on which i want to make a plane like this okay so what i will do is 
I will just go to the reference geometry again, select plane and select the I button here so that we can see the, our sketch or points. This is the first vertex, this is the second and this one is the third one. So this is the third vertex. You can select this vertex or this vertex. So this is how we can create a plane according to our vertices okay now the fifth point is that how we can create a plane at a midpoint like the right plane if we don't have the right plane here how we can make a uh, like plane at the end at the midpoint of this geometry for that 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 is just simple just select this face and select this face by pressing control and go to the plane and you see that it has automatically make the plane as a mid plane so by selecting two faces and go to the reference geometry select plane uh, the mid plane will automatically be generated okay so now the last thing which nobody told us and also is so basic and simple so let's see I want to make the plane parallel to my screen or camera what I will do is just go to the origin select create plane parallel to screen okay select create plane parallel to screen from here and you see that our plane 10 has been made perfectly parallel to our camera or normal to screen and it is in between the geometry like in the middle of the geometry and is made parallel to the screen so we can make this on uh, like from this view also like select the no, uh, view like this and go to origin again and select create parallel to screen you see that plane 11 is made perfectly in between this geometry and parallel to this face and screen so this was our topic for the creation of planes with different faces edges vertices and how we can make different planes or add some angles so thank you for watching stay tuned and keep sharing